If you're totally at home in front of a computer screen and enjoy learning new software programs, you could make it as a CAD or computer-aided drafting operator. This key employee is responsible for developing product designs before any manufacturing begins. The process starts with an initial rough sketch of the part or product no matter how small or large the final piece will be. This helps the operator arrive at the preliminary dimensions of the product. After the proportions have been worked out, the CAD operator uses software created specifically to create new parts. For manufacturing, most of these programs provide a truly realistic 3D view of the project in progress. The design can be rotated, seen from every angle, and fine-tuned to make certain that every measurement and feature conforms with the part specifications. A CAD operator needs to take into consideration the material being used and how the part will be created in the manufacturing process. My name is Kevin Stubb. I am the drafter programmer here at Eister's Tube & Wire. I was a graduate of 2007 at York County School of Technology for their law enforcement program. Upon graduation, I attended, I attended college for a year and until I needed to basically find a job and when I did I started out at Voith Hydro. When I got to Voith I realized that I wasn't, I felt like I had more to offer than just working in the shop as a labor worker so I decided that I wanted to go back to school for any kind of engineering program to continue to move up. When I attended YTI, York, Te uh, York Technical Institute, I discovered their uh, computer aided drafting and design program and I realized that then that was something that I realized that I could do and I continued to put forth an effort and put forth a career into. Um, even before I graduated, I was able to find a job here at Eisters. And once I found this job here, I realized that I can make a very good living and do something that I really enjoy without having to work myself to the bone. And right now, I couldn't think of any place where, where else I would rather be. Some programs allow the operator to work with customers and their CAD operators, merging designs remotely to make sure that the part will fit into or complement existing parts in a production system. After the design has been verified and checked, the operator is able to create exact blueprints for the machinist to work from on the production floor. My name is Andrew Mounts. I graduated from Dallas Town in the year 2002. Um, after high school, I uh, took welding courses to become a welder. I thought it would be interesting and, and fun. Um, I started working at Johnson Controls as a welder. I worked there for three years and decided to further my education in, in CAD and drafting. Um, I looked at blueprints every day and thought, you know, I, I, could, I could probably do that. So. Went back to school, got an education, um, and I was lucky enough to land a job at Johnson Controls as a drafter. And, uh, it's it's good. It's it's I can uh, make a good living for myself as a as a drafter designer. This is a challenging and exciting career with opportunities for growth and advancement. By planning the right training program after high school, you can make it as a CAD operator. These professionals earn an average annual salary of about $44,000 a year in South Central Pennsylvania. It's estimated that this job will enjoy a 10% growth in employment openings nationally through the next decade. Many companies in this area are looking for trained and enthusiastic workers who want to make it as a CAD operator.